Imagine the rolling credits. You've seen this before. A long, long time ago. Well, maybe it's 2009. At a conference. Far, far away. Conferences? 2022. That might seem pretty remote. Far, far away. But 2009. I went to this open education conference. Uh, it was hosted in Vancouver, Canada. And I had this idea to bring a thing that meant the most important thing to me then as it does now and it seems so simple we all talk about it all the time we know it's true it happens to us stories stories of experience and what i wanted to share at this conference wasn't about open resources or things or content or courses or MOOCs or whatever the rage was in 2009 twitter was what this new quirky thing on the side anyhow that's a side what i wanted to bring and wanted to have other people contribute was this thing that happened to me almost by accident as a byproduct of sharing things online, but also just being present online. And that was the serendipity of something unexpected happening when something that I had done or shared or contributed to or actually just bumped into a colleague I would have never had the experience of before because of this internet thing and because of open sharing. And I had this idea of these amazing stories of openness. And it was fun. And these weren't, I had my own experiences, but I was able to tap into other people. And over the years, I've done it again and again. And I have a hundred stories collected and I want more. I'm not done. I think 2022 is the time more than ever when I think we can sort of be reassured by this, that there's value. And yes, these aren't going to change the world or change experience or change education, but I think it gets at to the core of who we are as humans, as educators, as people who care about what we're doing, what we're trying to do uh, as open educators. So I'm pitching this again. It's like 13 years and like Alan hasn't done anything different, right? But I'm going to OER 22 and um, I'm hoping to bring this to the conference. I'm going to try to pitch this during Open Education Week. And just because I find it interesting. So there is a site where you can do this. I've rebuilt it as a splot, 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 splot at stories.cogdogblog.com. It'll be superimposed somewhere like down there um, where you can see the ones that have collected over the years and think about like, has this ever happened to me? Have I ever sort of crossed paths or connected with people uh, through an open course, through a project, through Twitter, whatever, where something happened that wouldn't have happened otherwise enabled by this open space? It's really simple. You can do it as a video. You can do it as an audio. You can just upload a picture and, you know, tell the story in, in any format that you want. I don't care. I just want to collect the story. So uh, please help me again. And uh, maybe uh, maybe something exciting will happen. Um, I'm going to keep on adding my own stories because this still matters to me. But I hope it matters to you enough to contribute to this um, crazy little idea that I just can't let go. So stories matter. Your stories matter. Please share. Um, and if, if you don't know what to do, contact me. You know where to find me. Uh, but thanks again for putting up with me. <laughs> See you out there on the internets.